Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Justin Young. He is Josh Tech. And Josh, we're coming off of a busy weekend. First event, real big event of the year, uh, tipped us off. And on Mondays, it's always kind of a, a fire hose to the face of trying to gather all the information and figure out how to how to go about it. How you feeling this morning, man? You good? Yeah, I mean, this is honestly, a lot of people kind of take off, you know, the winter maybe. I don't. Uh, so these this whole weekend has just been kind of my weekend's for the last three years. So, so I'm, I'm as good as ever, right. I'm tired, but you know, I'm used to it. I love it. I love it. Well, we were really happy to see over a hundred teams, 130 teams, I think come out for the Georgia cup one, as we tip things off over there at the legendary sports, Swanee sports Academy. We want to kind of spend some time today talking about some of the things that we gathered from the Georgia cup. As you know, the Georgia cup is really a hyper local event. Uh, where we've got a really good group of players from boys' side, the girls' side, high school, all the way down to elementary school. Uh, and it really is, for me, Georgia Cup, one of my favorite events of the year because you never know who's going to show up. And really, to me, that's one of the events, too, where you know a lot of players are playing with the teams they kind of grew up with, the kind of the mom-and-pop teams. Um, and there's always one or two guys that maybe kind of slide in under the radar that we're not super familiar with. And I feel like we have a couple guys this year that kind of feed that criteria. But let's just kind of start from the top. Like – just kind of off and running, just 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 blanket statement. How are you feeling about what we saw from the first Georgia Cup this season? Hey, I had, I had a good time. I mean, I'm I'm still alive, I'm still awake. So yeah, I had a good time. It was it was fun. There's a lot of you know those those under the radar kind of teams that are like, all right, this team could this team could make some noise going into the future. I think that we see a lot of that in Cup One and especially Cup One, and uh, we got a lot of that this weekend. Yeah. Give me some teams that kind of jumped out to you that you were impressed with uh, from there, the action. Yeah. So I think you got to start at 17 U champions play with heart. I think they had a really strong weekend. They have a player. Well, well, I'll say I'll save that for the standouts of the weekend. Um, Another team I really, really liked was in the 17 U division, but they were a 2025 group that mixed freshmen and sophomores and they're playing up. And that was champions chance slash team Tatum with yeah. our buddy Cam Tatum over there. They have a really talented group of, of underclassmen now um, that were playing up in the 17U division. They didn't win at all, um, but but I really appreciate teams that come out to a Georgia Cup and will will test their teams. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna, I want to make a note, kind of pause on that team for a second uh, and just make a note that I do want to talk about some of their young guys too as we get other top performers down the road. Uh, what other teams kind of jumped out at you? Um, in the 16U division, I liked SP Elite. They have some really good guards that I thought were, um, you know, they, that showed out. And I think there can be, you know, some of those guys can be poised for bigger summers coming ahead. Like we'll probably end up writing about those guys more in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, there was just a whole bunch of teams. Like you said, there was 130 teams. So I'm kind of racking my brains trying to remember sure. and sort everything in the different categories. Yeah, there is a lot to kind of go through. Just kind of a housekeeping note, every Wednesday we're going to update our team rankings on U.S. Amateur Basketball, through U.S. Amateur Basketball, rather, and we'll put those uh, those rankings out every Wednesday here on uh, so in a different you know social media channels, whether it's here on Twitter, uh, maybe on YouTube, um, Instagram for sure, so make sure you follow us at HoopScene. Also, if you're a middle school team, people always ask you, like, where do I go to kind of follow stuff, That which is actually a really good question. For high school teams at Georgia Cup, you're going to want to follow Hoop Scene GA on Twitter. And then anybody else uh, below, eighth grade and below, you're going to want to follow Hoop Scene Next, which is our non high school account. And of course, Hoop Scene W for all of our girls' coverage as well, which I thought our, our, our girls' team did a tremendous job. Cheyenne, Nadia, they did a really wonderful job, I think, covering throughout uh, the Georgia Cup as well. So uh, you want to just kind of keep your eyes on that stuff throughout the course of the event um, as we as we kind of get into it. You mentioned standouts. Let's talk about some of that, some of those top performers, talk about some of these players. Um, I feel like there was a handful of guys that were like no-brainer, easy choices to kind of fit in this category. Yeah, and then I was going to say his name earlier, but then I, I figured we were going to get to this point. So Josiah Marsh for Play With Heart, he had a really good weekend, you know, kind of bigger guard. He was yeah. shooting the ball really, really well. I think anybody on our staff that watched him, whether it was me or Cam Wallace or Jesse Bird, kind of walked away being like, damn, this guy's pretty good. You know, it yeah. was kind of one of those, like, all right, like, go out there and hoop then. And then they ended up winning the championship. And that, that was just a really fun player to follow. Um, Jason Wellborn, from, he's a fresh, he's a freshman at Drew Charter. He's okay. playing up in the 17U division with uh, Champions Chance slash Team Tatum. I think that guy is going to is going to really write some stories in the hoop scene library uh, throughout his high school career because he's he's already done so. He was a, one of the standouts at our elite or our spring preview the other weekend. 
and he was one of the standouts again this weekend. He's gotten off to a really good start with with the hoop scene platform. They have a guy from Athens on their team from Clark Central whose name is totally escaping me. As you can see, I don't Marcus know. Gillespie. Yeah, Marcus Gillespie. There we go. I, I really liked him a lot. It's funny going back, and this is why I love our player profiles. You wrote about him back in June from the yep. team camp stuff, and it was kind of good to get that context. And, and so when you add that all up, <clears throat> a couple of things. Clark Central was home to one of my favorite guys and one of the best sleepers that I've seen out of Georgia, and that was Cameron Johnson, who went on to play at College of Charleston, had a really just a beautiful career there. Um, I think 1,300 points in college, like – you know, a top 30 score of all time in Charleston history, which is which is pretty amazing considering how many great players they've had out there. I feel like Gillespie kind of fits the mold, big wing. He's playing for Cam Tatum. We went to uh, Tennessee, a guy that I know very, very well, covered him when he was a player. Um, with Gillespie's game, he's also a guy I think is an eye catcher that I'd be curious to see. Um, you know, Georgia Cup is a nice, like, warm-up, if you will, as we kind of move into the tip-off next week and then the Atlanta Jam and et cetera, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Um, to see like how he does, and of course the young guard from Drew Charter. So, to me, like, it, like, and I don't know about for you, but like, when we're talking about some of these top performers. Are you kind of like I kind of make like a I kind of drop a pin, if you will, in their trajectory. Like, okay, dropping a pin there in March and how they were as a player, and dropping a pin at the end of April and how do, how much better do they get and who do they play? And then by the time we get to like best of South or even into the fall, checking those checking those marks along the way of like how, who they played and, and how well they played. Does that make sense? Kind of like this ladder of, of succession, if you will. That's what this notebook is for. <laughs> There's dates like and all kinds of stuff and just quick little notes, quick little scribbles and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, there are players from this weekend that got their names written in my notebook and they kind of, you know, I'll keep checking back in. Like when I get to the end of that notebook, I'll, I'll flip to the beginning and be like, all right, this is how this much player, this is how much better this player has gotten since blah, blah, blah. You know, that's have funny. Names because written, have team names written, I have age groups and height and all this stuff. So if it, a kid has a growth spurt, I'll look back and be like, oh, oh, you know, at, at, you know, March, blah, blah, blah. At this day, he was six foot two and now he's six foot seven. You know, like I have all that kind of stuff written down in there. I love it. I love it. I love that you also have the NBA players camp. No book. I, I keep, I have many. I keep one with me all the time. That My camera's fixed. Otherwise, I'd show you. I have like a whole bookcase of notes and notes and notes from players over the years. So I, I'm with you. I, I also I think got the NBA good. player camp hand sanitizer. <laughs> That's a new one. That's a new one. I don't know if I have any of those. You should be out of that by now, right? Uh, I honestly just haven't. I have some more downstairs, um, and I just haven't used that one yet. I haven't cracked that one. I love it. I love it. Uh, any other top performers from the Georgia Cup that you really liked? Yeah, yeah, and I'm going to go crazy here. You know, dipping – like, we are not going to be the company that just overhypes. Yeah, we don't players. do that. We're, We're just... not going to post highlights or anything like that. But, you know, at Georgia Cup, it's fun to just go watch some younger players and see, you know, watch them hoop, watch them do their thing. And uh, Bo Bell, Xavier Lewis uh, in the 13U division, I believe, he's a guy that caught my eye. He is, he is quick with the ball in his hands, and he plays fearless basketball. He goes right at the rim, full speed. He's got really good body control for, you know, how I'm not trying to break down a, a 13U player's game that much, but, you know, you just can't help but notice it the way how quickly he gets to the rim and how aggressively he attacks the basket and how under control he is the entire time. So he's a guy to, you know, keep your keep your eye out for maybe in the future, a long way in the future. But but he's a guy in the younger division that really caught my eye. I love it. I love it. You know, I, I think for this first event, I was going to ask you like what you learned uh, from this first week in the Georgia Cup. And I feel like that's a pretty big answer, probably. I would imagine the other side of that question is that is that accurate? Yeah, I mean, well, it, it simultaneously a big answer while also being a small answer because since it was the first event, the thing that I learned was everything. Was what? Say that again. Was was everything? I I learned oh, everything. Oh, oh. Yeah, because sure. everything's so new to me and like all this. And this is our first event, so you're kind of either learning again. You're learning or building on what you've learned with new data. So it's all kind of a learning experience, right? Yeah. If you ask me at Georgia Cup finals what I've learned, I'll probably have a more succinct answer. But this one right now, it's kind of like, well, I'm still learning everything. So, yeah. Well, I think it's a good baseline, too, particularly for our cup competition, right, to, like, see where, you know, who really are our better teams. I think it's a preemptive um, look for us, like, looking ahead to next year, too, for the younger teams, like, you know, who are the programs and how they operate, like, is there consistency, um, like I've seen, like, like I, I bring up um, blue collar basketball, BCB, like they're a program like that. 
I think last year they're they were a good 16 year team. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. They were a good 16 U team. They won that championship. And you want to go to a standout, North Gwinnett's uh, Miles Clinton. He was really good for them, you know, big forward, kind of skilled with the ball and all that stuff. Yeah, so like that's it's Miles a good Clinton, team. North. He was great. Yeah, like those are baseline situations where we can see players um, to really kind of start the year as we kind of as we kind of project down the road and making sure we see some of those guys when we're in Louisville or when we're in North Carolina and some of these other places out, outside of state as well. So, um, you know, really kind of something that I do find to be interesting. Any other notes or anecdotes we want to go through or are we ready to move on? I think, we're, I think I'm good for now. Um, there are going to be plenty more. I know I've, I've probably rambled a little bit and missed a bunch of great players, missed a bunch of great teams, but there'll be a lot of on the website that that's kind of going to be for. This is just kind of a, an appetizer for more to come this week. Yeah, no question about it. No question about it. We do have the Hoopsine tip-off. So if you're watching this on Monday, go to hoopsine.com slash events. Go get registered for the tip-off. We'll be going Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Again, at the legendary, legendary Swanee Sports Academy. That's a mouthful. The weekend after that, of course, we'll be back there uh, for the Georgia Cup 2. So you want to go ahead and finish out the, the season strong. And then we get into the jams, man. The month of April is all about the jams. Bama Jam, Carolina Jam, Atlanta Jam. We're going to be all over the place, of course. We're going to go up to Louisville uh, for the Grassroots Showcase. So, again, hoopsie.com slash events. Go get your program registered today. Again, for the Cup, it's boys and girls. It's it's high school all the way down to ninth grade or uh, 10U. Uh, so go ahead and get registered up for our tip-off. It's just high school teams. We may have an eighth-grade division. Do we have an eighth-grade division? I can't remember. we got too many events. But nevertheless, hoopsie.com slash events, and uh, we'd love to get your team out there to help us uh, get some eyeballs on you. So until then, Josh, this was good stuff. Appreciate it. Again, stay tuned on or stay logged on to hoopsie.com. We've got you covered all week right here with the best news in prep basketball. Thanks, Josh.